the internet is based on collaboration between different uh, uh, organizations uh, that are in charge of different bits and parts of the internet. And any action also needs to be a collaborative action. That is also a key characteristic. The internet is a distributed technology. There are many different elements that uh, interact and there's no single organization in charge. There are various organizations dealing with it. I'm here as a representative of ICANN. ICANN plays one part, but ICANN is not in charge of the internet. And there are other organizations. And the solution to all these uh, problems we have or we imagine we have is only through collaboration. Uh, we have to learn from each other, we have to exchange information, we have to share best practices and the IGF is an excellent place, maybe the prime place for this to happen. People come here, they don't negotiate outcomes but they learn something and they can go home and implement what they learned. And if everyone keeps his house in order, then also the global house will be kept in order. But this is one of the problems, that, uh, especially sometimes developing countries face capacity problems. And then if a country uh, has a very good system in place and can say, in our country it all works well and we are fully in charge and we know how to deal with it but then there's always an escape route and there may be another country where the local ecosystem is not as well developed and then there is an escape route and uh, criminals will make use of that so the answer to that is cooperation cooperation and cooperation and also help assist developing countries through capacity building that they build up their own uh, system, their own cyber defenses to make sure that criminals don't find it that easy to come in through the back door. But again, a lot of what is commonly described as cyber crime could also be described as cyber hygiene, taking back the optic, bringing back to the user like in the offline world, the user also has responsibilities. In the offline world, you don't leave your house unlocked. That is, in most countries, there may be still some places where you can leave your house unlocked. But when you lock up your house, you don't keep the key under the front door mat, but you make sure that you have the key on you. So there are basic precautions. Internet users quite often forget. And I think I read we, you know, the most commonly used passwords are password or one, two, three, four, five. And yes, there are better ways to uh, keep your house in order and to protect yourself.